Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have a haul video for you from an outdoor uh, yard sale slash flea market basket auction that they do every year. And every year when they have it is my weekend to work. And this year was no exception, but I did make it there on my lunch break. And let me share with you what I got. I'm sure you could see this little lovely right here. Now I have to be careful because the people that I bought it from apparently dropped it. But this is this beautiful white tree. It does need to be cleaned a little bit because I don't know if you can see there's like some it looks dirty. Um, and I don't know if it was whatever they used to get the, the glitter to stick. Um, I don't know if it'll come off or not, but it is a beautiful tree. All blue lights. So the base is cracked, but I know that if I put some E6000 and, um, push it together, that it'll hold just fine. Guess what I paid for this tree? One dollar. Yes, one dollar. When I said to the lady, how much for the tree? She said, oh, well, we had some issues. A dollar. It got dropped. It has some issues. I said, sold. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. So, that was my big find for the day. One dollar for a ceramic Christmas tree. And this is probably, I would say, 12 inches. So, all right. Got an awesome canister set. It's like old new stock. Look at that. Got the set of four. I'm not going to pick up the other two. Although, this one does have a separation in the wood there, if you could see it. It looks like It looks like a like a crack, maybe. But it doesn't go all the way through. But these are really in excellent condition. So I have the really big one for your flour, the next size for the sugar, then we have the coffee and the tea. And I paid $7 for the set, which I thought was a great deal. My mother had something similar to this when I was little. So, um, I, unfortunately, I don't put canisters out on my counter because I have limited counter space. So, these will be um, res for resale. Let's see. Uh, what else did I get? And these are all from different people. Well, actually, um, let me think. Yes, this tree was from a totally different person. So I purchased this canister set and the following items from one person. I got this adorable set of salt and pepper shakers. $2 for the set. They're made in Japan. You could probably see that on the bottom there. Um, to me, these look like a chihuahua. But they could also pass for kitties. So, I don't know. Chihuahua or kitties. Got this really cute set. Um, let me turn them around so you can see. They are little beehives. There's the bee. 
And these are also Japan. This was also $2 for the set. Also from her, I believe I purchased this Baby Ben Vintage Alarm Clock. And believe it or not, somehow the alarm button got pushed and I still had it over here in the bag and the dang thing went off and scared the crap out of me. I said, well, the alarm works. So she said she got rid of it because the ticking drove her crazy. But for me, the ticking kind of like would put me to sleep. So it's, it's working. Um, I think this, I th she just threw this in for free. Also from her, I bought this set of roosters. These are very cool. I love these. A dollar for the set. And they remind me, they kind of remind me of chalkware, but uh, I believe they are ceramic. These are ceramic. Now, we do have a few issues. Um, this one is perfectly fine. This one just has a little bit of the paint that chipped off. And we have a chip back here. But once it's on the wall, you're not going to see it. If you can't see it, must not be anything wrong. <laughs> That's my motto. So, a dollar for the set. And I also bought from her this very, very cool puzzle from 1942. The graphics on it are amazing. I absolutely love it. This might be something that I would put out um, for 4th of July decor. If I decorated for 4th of July, which I really don't, like I'll put wreaths on my door and stuff outside, but inside I really don't. So I'm not quite sure, but I just thought it was awesome. So that was everything that I purchased from that particular lady. So let me kind of move these out of the way. All right, so we had the tree, those things, and the canisters. Now, I did purchase a couple other things, but I really can't show them because it's, it's going to be a surprise for someone, and I really don't want to ruin the surprise. Um, but I only spent like, I don't know. I bought two items from this one lady and this bowl, this beautiful pink depression glass bowl. It has that beautiful floral um, etched frosted um, pattern. Um, I haven't washed it up yet and it has the little feet. Beautiful, very pretty. This, I think she charged me a dollar and the other two things, that was two, three, I think it was 350 altogether from what I bought from her. I'm sorry I can't show you guys, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Oh, and I also bought these from her as well. It's a set of three butterfly dishes. Probably for a dresser. They're very pretty. I think she charged me... Um, $2 for these as well. Then from one other um, vendor, I purchased just this little frosted pink bunny, bunny on a nest, <laughs> for a dollar. So this will be pretty for Easter. I purchased uh, a few pieces of jewelry. This was really cool. Um, each piece was a dollar. 
I didn't mind paying a dollar for this. It could be a necklace or a pin. I thought that was really pretty. I purchased three pins, two shamrock pins, which are for someone, and this little elephant pin, trunk up, which is also for someone. So that cost me uh, $4, and I did get one other pin, which I can't show, because that is also for someone, and I don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay, um, so I spent a total, I think, of $25 or 20, 20, I think, at the, fleet, at the outdoor yard sale. I didn't buy any tickets for the basket auction. So on my way back to work, someone was having a yard sale. So I stopped and he had some pretty cool things and I really, I would have bought more, but um, I only had like five bucks left. <laughs> so um, actually one of the items that I'm not able to show you, I bought at this yard sale. Sorry, not at the flea market. So yeah, it was three items uh, for five bucks. So let me show you these. Oh, these are gorgeous. Look at these salt and pepper shakers. They are cobalt blue. The only thing wrong is this one has, this one has a couple small dents. I'm sure you could see them there. And this one just has one little ding right there. But I think that these are really stunning. And then I found this. And I know one of my subscribers is going to want it because she mentioned to me, and I can't remember her name offhand, um, Dragonware. Look at this beautiful little trinket box. It's not really small. It's, it's a, gotta be about, that's about five, six inches long. But let me show you. And you know what's really funny? There's a Goodwill tag on the bottom. <laughs> Alrighty, we just can't get away from the Goodwill, can we? That is too funny. But anyways, so it has these little designs on the sides. And this is the top. And mind you, I still have to clean it up. But I thought it was really, really pretty. So that was that, $5, and I did get three things, but like I said, I can't show you the third thing because I can't. But anyway, guys, so that is going to do it for this short haul. Wow, that's pretty short. Not too bad. <laughs> Alrighty then, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and as always, Please comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. This is part two of my uh, little thrifting adventure uh, at the outdoor flea market that they held. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? Let's try this again. <laughs>
I'm tired. Sophie Binks, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Alrighty then.